Kalani and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. Um, today I want to talk about a program that is uh, very new and temporary. It was launched by the Government of Canada and it is called the Temporary Public Policy to Facilitate the Granting of Permanent Residence for Foreign Nationals in Canada Must Be Outside Quebec with recent Canadian work experience in essential occupation. This is kind of once in a lifetime opportunity for these people that were um, instrumental in helping uh, go um, through the pandemic and provided essential services to Canadians and Canadian permanent residents in Canada. The program it will allow people to apply for permanent residence and get permanent residence based, of course, on their experience as an essential worker in Canada. The program has very specific eligibility criteria, and I want to go through them because we're receiving a lot of questions about this. If you do not meet these criteria, you should not be applying. If you meet the, the criteria, you should definitely take advantage of this opportunity. And you can email us um, if you need help with your application. We'll be happy to give you a hand at putting together an application for a favorable decision. So one of the first requirements is to have accumulated at least one year of full-time work experience. And it's about 1,560 hours in the last three years in Canada in the very specific occupation that the government has recognized as essential. The second requirement is having been employed in Canada at the time that the application is received. That means if you're not employed at the um, occupation, you cannot submit the application. If you submit the application and then you lose your job, that's not a problem. Um, the employment described in A and B, so the full time for one year and still be employed, must, have, must not have been self-employed and unless you are a medical doctor offering fee-for-service arrangement. Um, you have to have a certain level of um, English or French, and it has to be at level four, which is uh, basically on the, Canadian on the Canadian language benchmark. So if you take an IELTS uh, and you send it to our office, we'll be able to help you with the equivalence. But you do need to meet that minimum level of English proficiency to qualify for this temporary program for permanent residence for people who have worked in Canada as essential workers. You must be in Canada on a valid res temporary resident status. That means that if you're out of legal status in Canada or if you're not currently in Canada at the time of the application, the, uh, at the time of the application and at the time the application is approved, you should not apply, you will get refused. You do not meet the eligibility criteria. Once again, you must be residing in Canada with a valid temporary resident status or be able to or be eligible to restore. That means that you have you're still within a period of, of time where you can apply for restoration of status. Um, the next requirements in, is intent to reside in a province or territory other than Quebec. So again, this program does not apply to Quebec. Quebec did not participate in this program. You must have submitted an application using the forms provided by the government. Of course, we can help you with that. And finally, you must not have been inadmissible to Canada. That's where there's a lot of issues. So if you're out of legal status in Canada, if you're under removal order, if you're outside of restoration period, if you worked illegally in the past, um, if you're supposed to be deported or you're under um, deport departure order, exclusion order, um, then that's going to affect your eligibility to apply for, the, uh, for this uh, program. So if you have any questions, um, you should not wait too long. The program is only open for a certain amount of uh, months. Not only that, it has a certain quota of, application, of applicants it's going to accept. Within the general program, which is four categories, they're going to accept about 90,000 
um, people. That's not visas, that's people. So if you're accompanying by your husband and your two children, that would be four visas. So the, the opportunity is, um, is really good, but it is limited. So contact us if you have any questions. We'll be happy to uh, provide guidance to help you file this application for this temporary um, program for permanent residents. Thank you. Have a good day.